Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Roberto. And we are two of four crew members on NASA's HERA Campaign 6, Mission 3. HERA stands for Human Exploration Research Analog, and its home is in Houston, Texas, at NASA's Johnson Space Center. And, and we, we are, are very, very excited, excited to, to answer, answer your questions. questions. Hello, my name is Ufusu, and I am a third year student studying physics at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Ghana. I was curious about a few things. Why is your analog machines designed to last 45 days as compared to, say, a future mass machine, which will, of course, be quite a bit longer? Is there any scientific reasoning behind 45 days? Thank you very much, Ofosu, for this very insightful question. Um, it's actually really true. You're really correct. Uh, a, re a real mission to Mars would definitely take more than 45 days. So. In a sense here, we are just like simulating a very shorter, much shorter trip to Mars. Um, but at the same time, uh, NASA and NASA scientists can still uh, study a lot of things related to uh, deep space exploration and uh, astronaut uh, uh, missions to deep space uh, by studying the be behavioral effect, in particular, mental and physical uh, effects of isolation and confinement. And uh, some of these studies are actually very similar to what happens on these international space stations with the actual astronauts. Hi, my name is Atar and I am in 10th grade at Shirbinda School in Jodhpur, India. 45 days is a long time. How do you cope with being isolated in a small space? How do you maintain your physical and mental health? And what do you do in your free time? Thank you. Thanks, Atar. Those are excellent questions. Uh, we have scheduled workout times for our physical health. We also have a very nutritious diet that the nutritionists at NASA have supplied us with. So that also keeps our body in shape. Um, mental health, we all have our own outlets. So mine personally is reading and listening to music. At night, we always play board games um, and we also will watch movies. We do once in a while have to tell everyone we need our alone time and everyone is very respectful of that. Hi, my name is Victor and I am in the 6th grade at St. Paul Catholic School in New Bern, North Carolina. My question is, how do you handle personality conflicts when you can't get away from the person that irritates you? Hi Victor, I'm really glad that you asked this question because challenging challenges uh, um, as a team is really important uh, for HERA. Um, in particular, we uh, all face challenges here as if, you know, we were co-workers or a group of friends. You know, sometimes we have different opinions, we uh, have different ideas, different uh, personalities and pers uh, perspectives, uh, but uh, we all uh, believe that uh, uh, the most important thing is the success of the mission. And so we try to uh, listen to each other and uh, just come up with a decision uh, um, democratically and try to find the best for what is the, the mission. Hi, my name is Alexandria. I'm in seventh grade at Castello Middle School in San Jose, California. I noticed that your mission is in 45 days in a small space with no windows. So my question is, how do you tell whether it's day or nighttime? Do you just go by clock? How does not seeing the sun affect your mood and your sleep? Thanks, Alexandra. Those are great questions. Uh, unfortunately, we do not get to see the sun, although we do have virtual windows. So as you can see back here, we can see Mars outside of them. So since we don't get to see the sun, we take vitamins to help keep us healthy. NASA and Mission Control do a very good job of keeping us on a regimented work and sleep cycle. So we actually have a schedule which is very important for both us and astronauts to maintain because we want to be able to work and function at very high levels throughout the entire mission. Hi, I'm Landon and I'm going into the 8th grade in Creekside Intermediate. I'm in League City, Texas and I have a few questions. I'm blind. I navigate the world differently with smell, touch, and other senses with that compensate for not having sight. Inside of Hera, can you hear stuff like thunder and rain from the outside? What does it sound like inside of Hera, and also what does it smell like? Hi, Landon. Thank you so very much for your question. Uh, it's such an insightful question, actually. Um, 
here in ERA, we do actually have a, a sounding environment that is pretty different, I think, from the usual environment that we see outside. Uh, that's because we have a lot of machines and equipment that is running uh, all the time inside the hub. And so we hear all these noises and, and sounds every day. So that's kind of like a bit the difference with the outside world. Um, and uh, regarding actually the outside noises, we, we do hear sometimes, you know, airplanes or, or thunderstorms. But uh, since we are really engaged into the simulation, we try to, to feel very engaged in the simulation. We joke about uh, all these sounds uh, being uh, uh, either orbital maneuvers or like micrometeorites impacting our spaceship uh, so that we, we keep our uh, mindset mentality into the simulation. Uh, regarding the smells, um, we have, uh, I think the smells are really common to normal, uh, you know, smells that we would find in a, in a normal household. Uh, we have you know, smells from food, uh, from coffee, and uh, you know, people exercising actually, or, or even like hygiene products, normal stuff like that. Um, hello, my name is Connor. And I'm Enoch. Uh, we're in seventh grade at Castellero Middle School in San Jose, California. We were wondering, in case of an emergency, how do you, how do you respond to that? And is there a procedure? Do you try to fix the problem or will you have to send a message of a five minute delay to the team monitoring you? Thanks. Thanks, Connor and Anak. Those are great questions. Um, in training, we had several weeks worth of preparation. So we became very familiar with the systems here in the habitat, the tools that we would be using to help troubleshoot or just work on and maintain the systems. And also we learned the procedures that would be necessary to troubleshoot or to maintain the systems as well. Um, with a five minute calm delay, yes, it does make things very difficult. We are currently experiencing a five minute calm delay which means once we call out to mission control to let them know that an event had occurred, uh, we don't hear back until 10 minutes later. So we try our best to follow the procedures uh, that were shown to us that we've learned throughout the time and that we've actually practiced and utilized since being in the mission. Uh, we also sometimes just have to use our own logic and experience and try to figure out what would be the best way to go about troubleshooting either a device or a system that we have here in the habitat that's malfunctioning. Hi, my name is Jade and I'm in the sixth grade at St. Paul Catholic School in Newburgh, North Carolina. I'm curious, are you an international crew? Jade, thank you very much. I'm actually really glad that you asked this question because NASA really looks forward to the future of human exploration. Uh, and as you might imagine from my accent, uh, I'm actually Italian. Uh, I moved to the US a few years ago. Uh, so yes, our crew is definitely international and uh, we try to include as much uh, diversity as possible. Hi, my name is Tracy Rasmussen. I go to Frank Black Middle School in Houston, Texas. I was wondering, why did you sign up for a hair mission? How do you feel about being in a small space with the same people for such a long time? Hi Tracy, thank you for excellent questions. Um, in the beginning, when we first met, we were all a little nervous to live in a new place that was so small with new friends for such a long time. But we also were very excited to live and work just like the astronauts do at the International Space Station. Uh, we kind of realized that we all signed up for HERA for very similar reasons. Um, the most similar reason was the fact that we all wanted to contribute to uh, future space travel into deep space. And we all had our own personal reasons as well. My personal reason was that I wanted to see what it would be like to possibly provide healthcare in space. Thank you all so much for the wonderful questions. We had a great time talking with you today. And you can actually learn a lot more about HERA on uh, uh, the HERA's website. There's a lot of information uh, with uh, everything about this current mission and the previous missions. So thank you.